right, let's look at how we can make a very basic fog effect in Reality Composer Pro. We start by dragging some spheres onto our stage, just so we have a bunch of objects here and can really see the effect. Okay, so we've got some spheres and the general idea with fog is we want the ones in the distance to blend in more with this background. So we're gonna create a new material. It's gonna be a shader graph material and we'll call this fog material. And I'm gonna make this an unlit material to keep things simple. Because once you get into things like highlights and reflections, it gets a bit more complicated. So for today, we're gonna stick with an unlit surface so we can just look at the basic concept. Okay, we also have to apply this material to all of our spheres. So now we're going to give the spheres a color. And I'm just gonna pick like a red color and put that into color. We can see that everything's hooked up. For fog, what we want to do is blend between that base color, the red that we've picked, and a separate color. And that separate color is going to be basically this background here. We might have to tweak it a little bit, but we want a gray. As things fade into the fog, they're going to become more gray. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to mix these two colors together. So we've got our red, we've got our gray. And with a mix, you can control how much on a zero to one scale these two colors mix. But what we're going to do is we're going to control this mixture with some math. Some really simple math, and I'm going to show you how that works now. The first thing we need is the position the spheres. Now, by default, this is in the object space. What we want is the world space. So the world space is going to say for any of these spheres, where is it in relation to the origin of this world space? Next thing we need is the camera position. And that's where us, the viewer, are positioned in the scene. And what we want to do is get the distance between the position of any sphere and the camera because the farther you are from the camera, the more in fog you're gonna be. Okay, so we need a distance. So we're gonna drag out a distance. So the other thing we wanna do is clamp this value into a zero to one scale. This will make sure we don't have any weird values that produce colors we're not expecting. So if we put this into our mix, we get this. Now. The next thing we want to do is have some control over how intense this fog effect is, because right now I can barely see it. So we're going to drag out a multiply node in between the distance and the clamp, and we're going to experiment with these values. The first thing you'll notice is it's getting foggier the closer you are to the camera. So that's an easy fix, and there's two ways we could do it. Either we can put a one minus node here, to flip it, or we can just flip foreground and background here. So we'll just do that. We'll flip these two around. And now we're getting somewhere. You can see things that are in the distance start to get foggier. If we zoom out, they all start to get foggier. And you can see that the background color is not quite right. The color picker didn't exactly get it. So we can play with this a little bit until it kind of gets in. Oh, now. Now we really got it, because now they really disappear. So as we get in closer, they appear and disappear. And that's basic fog. And we could try other things too, like we've got a multiplier, but what if we add a power here? Because we increase the power, we're going to get kind of a different effect on the fall off. So rather than a linear fall off, Maybe that's a little bit more natural how they come in and out. And there we go. 